Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading and it will be for April 2021 for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading Gemini and pull your overarching energy or message for the month. What do we have? Angel Spirits Guides for Gemini, money and career only, April 2021. Wow! Love the energy, the Ace of Wands. Okay. Message for Gemini, please. Message for our lovely Geminis, thank you. Oh my goodness, Gemini. <laughs> so the Ace of Wands is connected to your dreams as well you know that's lovely energy hmm okay angels what is the message for gemini money and career only oh thank you thank you thank you thank you okay we have a few a couple of practical ones here we have declutter You'll feel better and more focused if you'll take time to, to clear away the clutter from your living and workspace. Donate what you can to help others who may need your items. Be sure to keep your schedule uncluttered as well. <laughs> it feels for some of you that is one of the messages. Maybe there's some kind of organising or decluttering the workspace. And we've got exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. The key to manifesting quickly is to have high levels, sorry, very high energy levels. And the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you'll, fo you'll look forward to exercising and it becomes your own reward. Very nice energy. Yeah. Okay interesting advice there so let's pull some cards i'm going to pull five cards gemini so what do we have for gemini please angels spirits guides message for our lovely gemini's money and career only please for april 2021 Yeah, Knight of Wands in the challenge position. Hanging Man. That's uh, what's going for you. We have the Nine of Wands. Oh, very nice. Uh, I like the way these cards are coming out. Nine of Wands in the obstacle to overcome. Six of Coins is the advice from Spirit. And... Oh my goodness, three of wands is your future outcome. Bottom of the deck, de deck even, <laughs> we've got the death card. Okay. Okay, okay. There's some kind of cleansing, purging energy going on here in the pro as a process throughout April. Um, but it's bringing in some kind of new opportunity. There's definitely an energy of out with the old and with the new. Um, and that's why the declutter, this, that's why this decluttering energy is, is coming your way. It feels like on every level of your reality, there is an opportunity to declutter, release, clear, cleanse, um, take care of you, you know, uh, put your energy in the right direction, that kind of thing. The Ace of Wands is exciting, offer opportunity. It can also be a door that is opening for you that you absolutely want to walk through. You know, so this could be a new business venture for some of you. It could be an offer, an opportunity, jobs, career, business, partnerships. But it's something that is exciting, that if you take action towards this, it promises real growth and success long term. Um, 
it's a very very beautiful energy here Gemini uh, very exciting the ones are all about power potential um, buzzing with potential buzzing with that electricity uh, and growth you know sometimes you see the one sprouting and it's almost kind of like that if you tend to this if you take action towards it it's going to really grow into something so a door is absolutely opening for you here a new beginning i'm seeing the circle here as well something might have come full circle or you're waiting for something to come full circle or you're waiting for some kind of completion so that you can step through this door but it's coming it's coming the way the cards have fallen out on the table is very much in synchronicity because again the knight of wands holds the wand knight of wands can be inspired action so this can be you taking action towards an opportunity, towards making this want happen. It can also be somebody offering you an opportunity as well. Um, the Knights bring change. In the challenge position, it's not quite happening yet. And that's what you're waiting, that's what you're waiting for. You're waiting for something to play out. You know, when the hanged man appears, it can be that period of limbo. So the hanged man can be situations that have caused us to feel periods of limbo. So we get this with changes in our career, job losses um, or changes in our, our working environment uh, where we're waiting, you know, for the next thing to arrive um, can be to do with health issues, you know, health issues affecting our money and career. The period of feeling in limbo you know it's the waiting for the next opportunity if you've taken action towards making an opportunity happen the hangman is just saying things are be still being aligned just bide your time you know it's, it's a period of just feeling um that there's more to play out before the opportunity arrives and that's what i feel with the nine of wands because there's no dispute here that the wand is coming the opportunity is coming but it's not quite formed yet. And the Nine of Wands is, it's nearly over. It's nearly there. There may well be one obstacle to overcome here. One more thing to do. One more, you know, T to cross, I to dot, call it what you will. Um, there may be just one more thing to go, one more round, you know, whatever this is. And then you're there, you know, then you're there. Um, it's a completion. Uh, but, you know, the message is persevere, keep going, because for some of you, it feels like you're one step away. It's very, very close for this wand, which is, you know, we've got the, the ace, the one, we've got the nine. So the completion is very, very close. And it feels it's going to manifest this month um, because the new beginning is arriving, something that you've been waiting for. So the message is absolutely keep on persevere. Don't let doubt, fear, um, draining of energy. Interesting, interesting. Keep your energy up. Keep your energy up. That is what the cards are saying because this can be exhaustion. Um, so keep the energy up. Because Spirit is saying it's your time to receive. Now this can manifest in somebody reaching out, offering you something. This can be in the form of offers, opportunities, advice, um, can be an exchange energy, so some exchange going on here. Um, but definitely it's your time to receive, and that's what you're being told, Gemini, with that six of coins. Very nice energy. It's coming. Three of Wands, the first signs of success. You might start hearing some positive feedback, for example. You might start getting... Um, things beginning to open up for you this month you know it's the first signs of success coming your way what you've been taking action to manifest but there is the first signs of it happening and then we have the transformation out with the old in with the new you as the phoenix rising the death card finally this period of waiting is over and you rise in your light it feels very beautiful the death is about endings but it's also about transformation 
Why am I saying that? Because the white, the white in the death card represents the alchemist's colour of transformation. So there is definitely an energy of out with the old, in with the new here. And all of a sudden, the old is finished, the old is released, and the new is about to come in. And we have that manifesting as the Ace of Wands, a new door opening, something absolutely connected to your heart and soul. And it feels like this, this is something that you've been waiting for. So very, very nice energy. And it's something very much connected to your dreams. You know, the hangman is a dreamy energy as well. But it definitely feels for some of you something that you've been really setting your heart and soul on. It finally feels like it's manifesting. Your ships are coming in. And yeah, there's been a process of waiting here. So you might get a little bit frustrated, but don't worry because, you know, you're closer than you think to it happening. So just keep on putting your energy in the right direction. Keep your energy up. Again, this declutter resonates on so many levels because the new is about to come in. Again, you are the phoenix rising. You are the, the phoenix actively destroys the old. This is a purging energy in order to herald in the new. The past journey is over. The new journey is about to begin. Wow. Like I said, this hangman can represent changes in relationships, you know, where you need to focus on your money, can represent changes in career finances, can represent changes in terms of health. And all of those things can affect your material, the money, the finance, financial aspect of what you need to focus on. Yeah. So finally, what do we have, please, for Gemini? Money, career, finances. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I, you've got to love these cards, you know. The messages are so in sync. We have Tiger, divine timing. Good things come to those who wait. <laughs> I know you've been waiting in probably a significant amount of time here, but, you know... It's coming. So lovely energy. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Gemini. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.